Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to this broadcast of Varsity Volleyball on NK Toco Sports. We are live at the barn in New Knoxville, where the St. Henry Redskins will take on the New Knoxville Rangers in MAC Volleyball action. Tonight's match will be brought to you by the following sponsors. Keyhole Pizza, First National Bank, Precision Strip, Emerson Climate Technologies, Carriage Works, Grand Lake Health, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Lincoln Electric Automation, Minster Bank, Pratt Industries, Wagner's IGA, Wilson Health, Winners Meats, New Knoxville Supply, and of course, NK Telco. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. My name is Scott Fry, and I will be bringing you all the sets, the digs, the serves, and the kills tonight. Man, I'm excited. This is a rematch of the Division IV State Championship match last season. And New Knoxville is the current reigning Division IV state champions. And they're hosting, of course, the state runners-up, St. Henry Redskins. Some things have changed in New Knoxville. They lost some key, key leadership from their senior class. And so they're kind of in a reloading mode right now, coming in tonight with a record of 2-9, and 0-3 oh in the MAC. St. Henry continues to uh, be strong. They did lose a few seniors. But they are uh, not missing a beat as they come in seven and three overall, but one and two in the MAC because, as is customary, volleyball in the MAC is a brutal, brutal gauntlet. And there are some great teams when you look across the MAC top to bottom and some great matches underway tonight. We'll try to get you some of those scores for our live pay per view fans that are watching. I'd like to give you, uh, before we start here, I'd like to give you the Keyhole Pizza. Three keys to a victory, and we will start on the St. Henry side of the ledger after speaking with Coach Tricia Rosenbeck of the St. Henry Lady Redskins, the Keyhole Pizza. Three keys to winning this match. One, serve aggressively and get New Knoxville out of system. Second, Coach Rosenbeck wants the Lady Redskins to stay consistent in serve receive and minimize the Rangers' ability to go on runs. And then finally, Coach Rosenbeck wants her girls to take care of the ball on their side of the net and eliminate or limit severely any bad errors. And an interesting kind of a sub storyline tonight could be a big night for St. Henry. If they're able to win this match, they will celebrate their 1,000th win in program history. Their current record, win-loss record since 1974, 999 wins to just 201 losses. So this program, uh, no stranger to success over the years. They're uh, a couple of years away from being uh, 50 years in existence. And Coach Rosenbeck, if uh, they can come out of here tonight with a victory, will be celebrating the 1,000th win in program history. On the new Knoxville side of the ledger, talking with first-year head coach Madison Lammer. She really loves how they play defense and receive serve. Those are two areas that they focused on quite a lot during their uh, summer camps, um, knowing that they're going to be facing some very aggressive serving teams in the MAC and around the area, as well as some high-powered offenses. The three keys to the win brought to you by Keyhole Pizza for the Lady Rangers of New Knoxville. They want to limit their unforced errors and not give St. Henry a bunch of freebies, a bunch of easy points. Coach Lammers also wants them to focus on first contact on serve-receive. Get that ball received and into system and into their offense. And then finally, the Rangers want to slow down all the attacks up at the net. So you can expect the Lady Rangers middle hitters and blockers to be very busy at the net tonight. I know why they call you Chunky Bomb. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. 
Keyhole Pizza. Come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Welcome back to the barn in the distance behind the St. Henry lineup. You can see what they affectionately refer to as Barn 2.0 here in New Knoxville, and that's the new room addition that they've added on. Really looking forward to getting out there and seeing the action once we get further into the completion of that renovation. And now we're going to get our starting lineups brought to you by Emerson Climate Technologies. Start with number 12, five foot 10 inch senior middle hitter, Maya Antrup. Number seven, five foot nine inch junior setter, Lydia Whirling. Number six, six foot senior outside hitter, Mia Niekamp. Number five, six foot sophomore middle hitter, Ellie Fullenkamp. Number three, five foot eight inch freshman setter and defensive specialist, Morgan Boimer. Number one, five foot 10 inch junior outside hitter, Chloe Gells, and the libero for the Lady Redskins. Number zero, five foot four inch sophomore, Raya. Busher. And now on to the Redskins lineup. Number 20, 5 foot 11 inch senior middle hitter Olivia Lammers. Number 14, 5 foot 4 inch junior outside hitter Brenna Van Gundy. Number 11, 5 foot 8 inch freshman outside hitter Addison Albers. Number 10, 6 foot sophomore outside hitter Bryn Egbert. Number two, the libero, five foot five inch junior, Natalie Kaup. Also starting number five, five foot eight inch junior outside hitter, Kiana Wellman. And number three, five foot six inch sophomore outside hitter, Laney Meyer. So thank you to Keyhole Pizza Keys to the game. Thank you very much for our starting lineup sponsor, Emerson Climate Technologies, sponsoring our scoreboard tonight. As always, First National Bank, think first. All precision or all timeouts will be brought to you tonight by Precision Strip. And then our player of the game, we'll announce later, will come to you courtesy of NK Telco. And then the New Knoxville Live View sponsor, our good friends at New Knoxville Supply. And again, without these local businesses supporting our efforts to bring you high school sports, we will be unable to do so. So please remember them when you think about where you buy your goods and services here locally. Support your local businesses as they do a lot more in the community than just buy and sell and provide services and goods. So once again, my name is Scott Fry. Looking very, very forward to bringing this match to you. Again, New Knoxville coming in tonight, 2-9 and nine overall, 0-3 in the MAC. They've got, uh, let me see, I've got their records and who they've played here. Let me dig that up for you. So they have got wins against Botkins and Houston. They have lost matches to Anna, Marion Local, Fort Laramie, Coldwater, Duffa St. John, St. Mary's, Coldwater, early in the year, Miami East, and Fort Laramie. Those last three I gave you were all part of the Coldwater spike-off. St. Henry has got wins against Miami East, Fort Laramie, also in the spike-off. Eaton, Fort Recovery, Rushi, Buckeye Central, and Minster. And they've dropped all MAC matches for Zales, Coldwater, Marion Local, and we are underway. And... New Knoxville now going to put a big swing there from the left side. And that is number 10, Bryn Egbert. And we're going to see plenty of her swinging away. And back to serve for the Rangers right down in front of me. This will be Addison Albers, the freshman. 5'8 inch outside hitter. And top spinner right to the center of the center defense. Now set in the front row. And that's pushed across by Mia Niekamp. And they're going to say that one of the Lady Rangers was in the net, which is not legal. And the high school volleyball can't touch that net. And so St. Henry now will go back and serve. And this is number 10, Lauren Tiemann, sophomore defensive back row specialist. And she sends a knuckleball wiggler. I got the best seat in the house as we get a hitting error there in the front row for the Redskins. I'm sitting down here at the baseline behind the New Knoxville end of the bench. And it's the best perspective to watch volleyball, in my opinion, because you could see the service and the movement, the side-to-side, -side, up and down movement of the volleyball as these young ladies put it into play. So early going on the first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Your score is 2-1. to one. Courtesy of New Knoxville, now we are all tied at 2-2. Two -two. As New Knoxville unable to do anything with that swing from the front row, and that was Maya Antrup, I believe. With that kill, and now back to serve to St. Henry. This is the setter, junior, Lydia Whirling. And she sends a knuckleball over, dug by the libero, Kaup. And then a battle with the net. And this time, St. Henry guilty of being in the net. 
Point New Knoxville. 3-2 Rangers. Back to serve now for New Knoxville. This is Keanu Wellman. Set all the way across and off the block and down but out of bounds. So that will be a point for St. Henry on that swing was me and Neek Camp. Lammers was up, Olivia Lammers was up with the block, number 20 for New Knoxville, but unable to block it inbounds. Dug by Cap in the center of the back row, now passed across. Now Lammers is going to have to free ball it, and that's going to set up St. Henry with a freebie. Here comes the set. Nice defense there, number 11, New Knoxville. And they're going to put that down for a point as Amy, excuse me, Allie Top with her first kill. And it is 4 3 New Knoxville. And nearly going on the first National Bank Think First scoreboard as back to serve will be Brenna Van Gundy, the junior outside hitter for the Rangers. Again, New Knoxville, the reigning Division IV state champion. Nice swing up front. That was Chloe Gells for St. Henry. New Knoxville manages to play a little defense, get it back across. Big swing. Maya Antrip. Tied at four. Back to serve is Libero, Raya Busher. And the sophomore knocks that one out of bounds. And the Knoxville will send Allie Top, the senior, one of three seniors on this New Knoxville roster. They lost all but one varsity starter to graduation after an amazing run to state. They finished 27 and 2. Pushed just long by Egbert. Brent Egbert unable to get that one to drop at the back line. So you'll see some subs now. So Henry will send Morgan Boimer into serve number three. And a pair of threes coming in. New Knoxville's number three, Laney Meyer, the sophomore outside hitter. And New Knoxville lets that one go. That's a long serve. And the Rangers up 6-5 in the early going here, set one. And we will get a timeout. I did not see who called it, but early going in set one here from New Knoxville. It's the Rangers 6, St. Henry 5 here on NK Tuckle Sports. Wagner's IGA has been servicing their communities for more than 95 years, spanning three generations. Wagner's founded their business on two basic principles, excellent customer service and quality products. Visit all our locations and experience the finest selection of deli, fresh meats, and variety of beverage choices. While there, don't forget to check out our vast selection of fresh coffee beans, produce, dairy, and bakery items. Visit Wagner's today in Minster, Fort Laramie, and New Bremen. And check us out on Facebook. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge-free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Welcome back to the barn. MAC volleyball action. New Knoxville with the lead 6-5, currently over St. Henry. As back to serve for the Lady Rangers is Natalie Kaup. And it'll be libero to libero as Busher sets up the front row and down with the kill. That is Lydia Whirling. And now back to serve for St. Henry, Chloe Gells, as we are all tied up at six. Let the ball serve, tough to handle. Put that one in the books as an ace. Laney Meyer unable to do anything with that. And Chloe Gells registering the first ace of the match, her first of the night. And now the outside hitter, Egbert, pushes it, unable to get it across. So you'll get a hitting error there. And that'll go in the books as another ace for.
for Corley Gill. So a pair of aces. And St. Henry on a little 4-0 run coming out of that timeout. They lead 9-6 on the first National Bank. Think first scoreboard. And put down three aces in a row. And as is customary, if they feel like they're serving to a player who's struggling just a little bit, they will keep those serves coming right at that player. And that's what you're seeing right now from Chloe Gells, the junior. And another one this time. It doesn't get over the net. And so the bleeding is stopped for the Rangers. 10-7 now. St. Henry with the lead here in set one. Back to serve for New Knoxville. Is Addison Albers, number 11. She sends a top spinner over, and that one's a little bit long. Gells with those three aces. Those were her 31st, 32nd, and 33rd aces of the season. So no stranger to excellent service is the junior, Chloe Gells. And now back to serve for St. Henry. This is Lauren Tiemann. Dug by Kaup. Pushed across to an empty spot on the floor. That's Mia Niekamp. Been talking with Coach Rosenbeck. One of the things she's looking forward to this year is watching Mia, Mia Niekamp get back on her feet, literally. She missed her junior campaign with ACL, an ACL injury. And you saw right there, she's looking... Very strong at the net. Now, big swing from Egbert. St. Henry, little defense all the way across. But boy, boy, big swing from Niekamp. That's her second kill of the match. And St. Henry now with a little momentum. 13-7. And we're going to get a precision strip timeout called by New Knoxville. We'll keep it right here. Talk a little bit about these two teams statistically. On the New Knoxville side, their kill leader is the sophomore Brent Egbert with 80. Allie Top has got 72. And then Kiana Wellman with 48 kills on the year. Their leading server with 18 aces is Addie Addison Albers. On the St. Henry side, I told you earlier, Chloe Gell's now up to 33 aces on the season. Uh, blocking, no surprise, Maya Antrup with 17 blocks. And then Chloe Gell's with... 119 kills behind her is Mia Niekamp with 88. So those are kind of your stat leaders for both teams blocking for New Knoxville. Their block leader is Kenna Wellman. And Allie Top Wellman with 29, top of 27. And we are back in action as Lauren Tiemann looking to serve again for Coach Rosenbeck's Lady Redskins push across to Egbert. She'll put one up off the block. Nice save right there in the front row. Now back across to Niekamp. Dug in the back by Meyer. And down on the New Knoxville side as the Rangers unable to do anything with that one. Fourteen seven now. Got a Tuesday night football score here from the barn. Little back set and across, kind of a wrap around. Doesn't make it over the net. Now a swing from the back row goes long as Chloe Gells had a little too much starch in her step right there. And back to serve now for Coach Lammers and the Lady Redskins will be Bryn Egbert. She's got a kill so far. She put a top spinner back, dug in the back row there by. Morgan Boimer, now the big swing by Niekamp, and New Knoxville unable to do anything with it there at the front row. As Mia Niekamp, I've got her down for four kills. As St. Henry leads 15-8 on the first National Bank, think first scoreboard. Serving now is Lydia Whirling. Knuckleball across to Alley Top. Now St. Henry in system, big swing cross court. And that's going to fall... That was Lizzie Snyder with her first kill as New Knoxville unable, unable to do anything with that. 16-8 now. St. Henry with their biggest lead of the night here in set one. No JV match to tell you about. Just varsity tonight. Dug in the back row by top. Now set up. Big swing number five. That is Kenna Wellman, but she puts that one off into the manager's section there for St. Henry. And that'll go in the books as a hitting error. And now you're going to get another precision strip timeout called by New Knoxville. We'll take it with them. So far, St. Henry 17, New Knoxville 8 here on NK Telco Sports. 
Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. At Wilson Health, we're extending care beyond the walls of the hospital with resources designed to keep you in charge of your health. Our independence and connection to the community are unique in a world where big health care strives to act like corporations. Our tools may be the same, but we are different. We're neighbors, friends, and family who truly care about the people who live here. We call it caring without limits, and it's just the beginning of a whole new Wilson Health. Welcome back to the barn. Scott Fry bringing you MAC, Midwest Athletic Conference, volleyball action. Rolling serve, dug by Kaup, passed across by Albers. Off the block, back on the New Knoxville side. Albers now looking to set up Wellman. And we've got a Ranger in the net. So one of the things that Coach Lammers wanted to try to avoid was unforced errors and limiting easy points, but so far they've struggled a little bit in that department. There's a little lob serve. Nice piece of work there. Allie Tup getting it in play, and now New Knoxville with a lobber of their own. Now up with a big swing, knee camp, and unable to do anything with that one as Mia knee camp registers her fifth kill. And St. Henry now 19 to 8. Set one action. I'd like to thank Kay Webb and the staff here at New Knoxville High School for welcoming us in. And there's another ace for the Lady Redskins. Kendra Whirling registers her first ace. Or Lydia Whirling, excuse me. That's a total of four aces in this set. Boy, see the movement on that ball. Kaup did a nice job of getting that thing into play. Free ball over there by Kiana Wellman, now dug in the back row by Busher, and pushed across. Nice big swing from the middle hitting position is number 12, Maya Antra, her third kill of the match. So St. Henry doing a nice job defending, getting the ball into play, into system, and they lead 21-8. Very dominant performance here in the early going. New Knoxville looking to get their first MAC win of the season. There's that little lobber. Right up front by Antrip. New Knoxville still fighting. Pushed across. Now going to get a swing from Gells from her back row position. She miss hits. And that'll be point New Knoxville. It's their first point in quite some time. 21-9 is your score here in the first set on the First National Bank scoreboard. St. Henry with the commanding lead. It's Keanu Wellman will send this one into play. A little miscommunication. Knee camp at the swing. Wellman digs it in the back row. Pushed across by Albers. Up and off the block. That's going to go to Maya Antrup. Her first block. Melina Puckett, the senior, number four, went up for the kill from her outside hitting position. But the St. Henry wall was up. And back to serve is Mia Knee Camp. 22-9 the lead for St. Henry. Dug by Cow. Nice save over there by Albers. But Olivia Lammers unable to do anything with that is the dig, the serve receive from Kaup went all the way up near the up official. And Addison Albers did a nice job of getting that into play. With Antrip with the bump. Now back to Antrip, big swing off the block. And that's going to be point. New Knoxville, or excuse me, St. Henry, fourth kill for Antrip. 24-9 here as we get to set point in set number one. The Lady Redskins have the lead here in the First National Bank. Think first scoreboard as Mia Niekamp up to serve. Little lobber dug in the back by Kaup. Now uh, Albers. She sets up a big swing from Alley Top and she puts it away down off the block. Point New Knoxville as they are now into double digits. 24-10. Still set point. Favor the Redskins. First set action. Thank you for joining me. I'm Scott Fry. Happy to bring you all this action is Brenna Van Gundy to serve now for the Rangers. Knuckle ball across to Raya Busher. And pushed across by Lammers. And that'll be Point New Knoxville. 
still set point, 11 serving 24. Ben Gundy, low serve to Gells. And then that swing is out of bounds. That was Lizzie Snyder from her right side position, unable to connect there. So New Knoxville now on a little run of their own. Down by a dozen, 24 to 12. And that serve is going to go long. And that will bring an end to the first set. The First National Bank Think First scoreboard reads like this. St. Henry 25, New Knoxville 12 here on NK Telco Sports. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. Kemmler Orthopedic Center is focused on a personalized caring approach to treat all aspects of orthopedics, including total joint replacement, shoulder reconstruction, stem cell injections, and more. Dr. James Kemmler and Jed Cooney, certified PA, are dedicated to providing the best orthopedic care in the Grand Lake region. Kemmler Orthopedic Center has offices located in Salina and Van Wert, along with extended evening hours. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-586-5760. Welcome back to New Knoxville. One set is in the book. St. Henry Victorious 25 to 12. Give you the cab report for this first set on the New Knoxville side. The Lady Rangers registered three kills in that set. On the St. Henry side, Lady Redskins 11 kills, one block and four aces. Stat leaders so far, Mia Niekamp leads all hitters with five kills. Behind her, Maya Antrup. Pair of kills for Ali Top over on the New Knoxville side of the floor. And then three aces, Chloe Gells got on a little bit of a hot service streak and she put three aces across for Coach Rosenbeck and the Redskins. Again, the Redskins with a win tonight would achieve quite a milestone in their program. Uh, a thousand wins. Their current record is 999 wins to 201 losses. So could be a really big night here for St. Henry if they are able to put together a win. Other MAC action, for those of you listening uh, live, pay-per-view, Coldwater is up two sets to none over Fort Recovery. And if I can get any other volleyball scores to you, I will do so. So you see our officials getting the lineup set to start second set action. Knoxville getting set to serve. You hear the whistle. Here we go. And this is Addison Albers. She gets it in play, pushes it across. Chloe Gells with the kill. Meyer with the dig. Now Kau passes it to Egbert. And she's going to register the first point of set two as Bryn Egbert, the kill leader for New Knoxville, comes into tonight's action with 80 kills. She had a kill in the first set. And now she's got one to match in the second set. So one nothing on the first National Bank scoreboard. And that one will go into the net. And that'll be point St. Henry as the freshman outside hitter. Addison Albers unable to get that one across. And now Chloe Gells, the junior outside hitter. Behind the service line for the Redskins. And man, you should see that ball move side to side, that knuckleball. And now Laney Meyer will have to bump it across as a free ball. And New Knoxville puts up the wall. Nice jump right there up front. Count of Wellman. Also there with her was. Let's see. I believe Melina Puckett was up there, but Wellman gets credit for the block. Little quick push across. Nice move right there. Lydia Whirling registers a kill. She had a kill and an ace in the first set. And so just like that, we are tied at two as St. Henry. Subs out Ellie Fullenkamp and sends in Lauren Tiemann, defensive specialist, sophomore for the Redskins. Looking back by Kaup up to Albers. Now the swing by Wellman is blocked. And that's going to go Maya Antrim. 
Also up there with her was Mia Knee Camp. You see that big knee brace on Mia's knee. Really nice to see her make a recovery from her ACL injury and be back on the floor as a senior for her final campaign with the Redskins. And then just a mistimed swing there for New Knoxville and St. Henry. Doubles up the Rangers here in the early going set two, four to two. And Lauren Tiemann will continue to serve for the Redskins. Dug in the back by the Rangers. And then a little miss hit there. Looking like uh, Wellman was going to try to free ball that over and just couldn't get a clean swing at it. So, again, unforced errors were definitely a theme in the first set for the Rangers. And they continue here in set two. So received by Top. Now Top's going to put a swing on it. Dug by Gells in the back row. Now St. Henry is going to send Mia Niekamp to the swing. And she's going to push it right through the libero. Give Niekamp her first kill of the second set. And we're going to get a precision strip timeout called by Coach Lammers for New Knoxville. Just trying to settle her girls down here. Um, in talking with both coaches, trying to get a feel for how the season was going to be, um, I ask, uh, one of the questions I ask is, you know, what are you going to be most excited for this season? And Coach Rosenbeck for St. Henry put together a tough schedule, wanted her girls competing against the best teams in the state to see her girls grow and learn and face pressure during the regular season that they might not ordinarily face except for MAC matches and then the tournament run late, later on in the year. So she was really happy to see that she's got a good good tough schedule and so far at 7-3 and three, the Lady Redskins have responded well. Talking with uh, New Knoxville coach Madison Lammers um, interesting I ask also you know give me a list of names who are the go-to or the, the leaders on your team and she's interesting answer she said right now we don't have a go-to player but she likes it she says it's a luxury because it forces everybody to step into their roles be dependable which is important considering they have a very small amount of varsity experience on the team so I really love that perspective from Coach Lammers. We're back in action and there is a swing for the Redskins. Mia Niekamp's second kill of the set and on the first National Bank scoreboard 7-2 St. Henry is Lauren Tiemann serves. Dug there by Bryn Egbert. Pushed across by Albers and then a nice swing off the block and now St. Henry setting it up. This is on trip. Dug by Albers. Out to pass. This is Egbert, the big hitter. Dug in the back row there. And here comes Niekamp. A little bumper, but she wound up like she was going to crush that. But Saint, or New Knoxville had their wall up there. They had uh, Addison Albers. They had Melina Puckett right there. And so Niekamp just blooped it over him. And Tiemann now with the serve. And unable to do anything with it. That'll go in the books as an ace. Her first ace of the match, excuse me. And it's a 9-2 lead now for St. Henry on the first National Bank scoreboard. As Lauren Tiemann continues to serve as she's done through most of the scoring here. Now Kyle passes forward. Here is Valley Top, and she is unable to get that one across. So again, unforced errors, a little bit of a bugaboo here in both set one and set two. And St. Henry now with an eight-point lead, 10-2. Tiemann Huckleball serve, beautiful dig there by Kaup. Addison pushes across to Alley Top. Dug in the back by Morgan Boimer. And here comes Niekamp at the swing, and that's going to be point New Knoxville due to a Lady Redskin in the nylon, which is a no-no. Olivia Lammers now checking in for New Knoxville as Ellie Follenkamp checks in and out to bring the libero Raya, Raya Busher in. Once the libera subs out, she can only sub back in for the person who came in for her when she subbed out. Libero is always a back row defensive specialist type player and is allowed to direct sub, but they always have to sub in and out. Whoever they sub, whoever subs in for them must come out when the libero returns. And a nice swing there right down the middle, but a little long. And we're going to get a red skin in the net. So a mistake on the St. Henry side gives New Knoxville a point. And we'll get a sub as 
Molina Puckett, the senior, will step out, and in will come Brenna Van Gundy. First National Bank scoreboard here in set two in favor of the Redskins, 12-4. And back to serve will be senior Mia Niekamp. Knuckleball, well, that's a tough one. I've got such a good view of it. Addison Albers, beautiful play. Wellman pushes it across. Now St. Henry trying to do something with it. And Busher, the libero, has to pass over to Gels. And then the push by Addison Albers. Nice save there by St. Henry. Got a good rally going here as Gels pushes it across. Good little quick set. Big swing off the block. And nice save there by the libero, Busher. And Gels with the swing. And that's going to go long, as you see there. Bryn Egbert has to get down in limbo formation to miss that ball. And great rally there. Very athletic plays on both sides of the net. New Knoxville ends up with the point there. Sanders still leads by a touchdown, 12-7. Nice dead ball serve across and some play at the net. And again, another St. Henry player. Oh, they're going to get called for a, if she pushed the ball over. So the down official with that call. And New Knoxville scoring some points here in the second set. Tough serve to return in through the net, and that's the first ace of the match. And it goes to Alley Top, the senior middle hitter. Little top spinner across the net. Nothing that Raya Busher, the libero, could really do with that. You see her in the dark jersey. That's how we know which person the libero is. Dug by the Ranger libero, Natalie Kopp. Kaup, excuse me. Egbert's swing is blocked. Now St. Henry just trying to get this thing over. One more swing. That's Gels. Kaup keeps it in play. It goes over. Now the pass from Busher. Off the net, Kaup. And she'll free ball it over. Dug in the back by Brianna Mangin. Kaup with a nice defense in the back row. Natalie Kaup really coming up big here in this little stretch of volleys and rallies. Addison sets Lammers. That's Addison Albers, by the way. Sets Olivia Lammers a little bit long. You see Coach Lammers, Madison, out there to congratulate her girls. A really nice series of both defensive and offensive plays on another long rally here in the second set. St. Henry now with the lead 13-7 as Raya Busher, the libero, wears jersey number zero. Both liberos in gray. And yeah, that's an ace for the libero. So difficult to judge. And I'm pretty sure Coach Lammers is saying, hey, if you're not sure, you got to get that. Even if it seems close, you got to get that. Now a lob over Busher, dug by Meyer. And then Wellman with a big swing right at the St. Henry defender. That was Lydia Whirling. Just couldn't do anything with that as Wellman put a little mustard on that hot dog. Or excuse me, that was Brent Egbert. My apologies. First second kill of the set. We'll push across there by Ellie Fonkamp. Now St. Her. New Knoxville's Wellman pushes it across, dug it back row by Laney Meyer. Now a quick set across by Addison Albers. Nice play there. St. Henry recovers, and then finding the bare floor there is Lizzie Snyder from her front right position. She will exit the floor, and on will come freshman Morgan Beimer. Both teams starting freshman. Addison Albers, the setter in the current rotation for New Knoxville, where's number 11, and then number three, Morgan Blimer, who's serving for St. Henry, as they lead 15 to eight. Wellman, that's off the block. Oh, they're gonna say that was not touched. And we're gonna get a precision strip timeout. As St. Henry stretches their lead now, doubling up the Rangers 16 to eight. We are here, and here, and here. Winster Bank is everywhere, providing every banking service that you need to keep your financial life in order. Whether you are on the go or stopping by one of our branches, Winster Bank is here for you. We proudly support the communities where you live. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Unpack your potential with a career at Pratt Industries. Working at Pratt Industries is more than a job. 
It's a sustainable career. Pratt Industries to me is a job. It's, it's my career. It's the way I put food on my table, but I love what I do. We offer competitive pay, excellent benefits, and opportunities for career advancement. To apply, visit careers.prattindustries.com. And we are getting set to go here, coming out of that precision trip timeout. Morgan Boimer, the freshman serving for St. Henry, number three. And there's another ace that came right at Bryn Egbert. And she thought that was going to go long, and it did not. So 17 to 8 now, St. Henry with another big lead. They won set one, 25 12. This is dug by Laney Meyer. And Addison Albers pass across to Wellman. Nice kill, but a great dig there by Boimer. And then the swing goes, yep, goes long. Eighteen eight. Oh, I saw the up official indicate point New Knoxville, but it was point St. Henry as Ellie Fullenkamp registers her first kill. Cow does such a nice job on serve receive for the Rangers. A little collision there on St. Henry's side as Gels goes up off the block and down. Unfortunately, it's out of bounds. So St. Or New Knoxville had the wall up. Egbert and Addie Albers, Addison Albers were up off the Gills kill. Wellman, well, nice swing, dug in the back row by Boimer, now pass across, this is Gells up and off the block and down out of bounds, point St. Henry. As Chloe Gells, she was serving very well in the first set, now she's her front left position there, her outside hitting position, she's hitting very well this set, and St. Henry first to 20 as they lead by a score of 20 to eight as Boimer continues to serve, and there's an ace for the freshman, her second of the set, second of this service run, 21-8 now on the first National Bank scoreboard here in set two. St. Henry did win the first set, 25-12. As Boimer unable to put that serve across. Looked like she was trying to get one of those little line drive knuckleballs. And just a little bit off there. So back to serve now for the Rangers will be Addison Albers. Back onto the floor for New Knoxville, Melina Puckett. Dug by Libero Busher. Now pushed to Gells for the swing and miss. So Chloe Gill's a little long with that one. And the Rangers into double digits, 21-10, our score on the first National Bank scoreboard. So Addison Albers continues to serve, dug there by Busher. Whirling's gonna pass it across to Gell's, will bow at the net, drops on the St. Henry side, now they'll set it up again. Dug by Kaup. Now Albers is gonna set up across to Egbert, blocked by the Redskins. And here comes Puckett swing, dug by St. Henry. Here comes Gales again. She'll try a little tap her across. And Addison Albers unable to get to that. So again, you see New Knoxville commit to that block, and St. Henry very clever about just tapping that over the block and down right behind them, and there's usually a hole there. As Gales now with the serve, dug by Laney Meyer. Nice serve to see right there. No miscommunication, so basically a free ball. Now back set, up and off the block to Ellie Fullenkamp. Her second kill of the set, second kill of the night for the sophomore middle hitter, wearing jersey number five. Very, very tall young lady, St. Henry. Got some six-footers, Fullenkamp one of them, and knee camp another. Now Whirling sets the... Sophomore up and down for the kill. Ellie Phone Camp getting going here now. As Lydia Whirling sets her up to perfection. Set match 24 10 here for the Redskins on the first match to make scoreboard. A little blooper, Laney Meyer. Pass forward, a little back set across to Egbert. Nice dig over there by Boimer. And then Libero passes up to Knee Camp, and she can't do anything with that. So New Knoxville keeps it going here. Laney Meyer will leave. On will come Alley Tup. And this is Bryn Egbert with the serve. Big swing there. Nothing you're going to do with that one if you're New Knoxville. 
as Mia Niekamp puts an exclamation point on the second set with her ninth kill. So the first National Bank scoreboard reads, St. Henry 25, New Knoxville 11. We'll be back in a few minutes with set three action here on NK Telco Sports. Are you looking for a rewarding career? Lincoln Electric Automation in Coldwater and Fort Loramie supplies top-of-the-line automation systems to manufacturers. Lincoln Electric Automation routinely develops its team through hiring and by offering advanced technical training. We understand that every employee matters and every role contributes to the success of our business. We offer advancement opportunities, competitive wages, and benefit packages. Visit LincolnElectric.com and get on track to a better career and a better future. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. Welcome back to the barn. Scott Fry here with you. Midwest Athletic Conference volleyball action on a Tuesday night as St. Henry all over this one by a score of 25-12, 25-11. So they lead the match 2-0. to zero. And if they can close things out and win set three, that will give them the match win. Give you a quick cab report here. Kills, uh, kills, aces, blocks. Second set, two kills, a block, and an ace for New Knoxville. So that's a total of five kills, one ace, and a block for New Knoxville. On the St. Henry side, 12 kills, four aces, and a block for set two. Total, 23 kills, two blocks, and eight aces. Leaders, Mia Niekamp with nine kills so far tonight on the match. Leads all hitters. Getting some help from Chloe Gells with three kills, Ellie Fullenkamp with three kills, Maya Antrup with four kills. Aces look like this, Chloe Gells with three, Morgan Boimer with two, Lydia Whirling with one, Lori Tiemann with one, and Raya Busher with an ace as well. As we get ready for third set action, I'd like to thank all of our sponsors, additional sponsors tonight, Burke Petroleum, Chiltex LLC, Cy Sweeterman Incorporated, Dickman Supply, Hometown Opportunity, Kielsman Automotive, Park National Bank, Securecom, and St. Henry Bank. Again, please don't hesitate to support those local businesses who are willing to buy advertising and support our sportscast to bring you high school sports here in NK Toko Sports. So set three, about ready to get rolling here is Chloe Gells. Going to start things off for Coach Rosenbeck and the Redskins. Looking to even up their MAC record, currently one and two. Looking to close this out and go two and two on the year. And a big swing, nice dig back there for New Knoxville. That's Van Gundy. Now Albers will have to free ball it over. Dug in the back row by Gells. Up with the swing, knee camp, and that's going to go out of bounds, but it looks like the libero caught a piece of it, so that will go in the books as a kill and a point St. Henry. So the Redskins will open the scoring here in set three. They lead 1-0 on the first National Bank scoreboard. Off and end. Nice dig there by Laney Meyer. Passes to Albert. She passes over to Egbert. And that goes off the block of the Lady Redskins. I believe that was Ellie Fullenkamp up there. 2-0 St. Henry with Gells behind the line. She's got three aces tonight as Meyer struggles to return that one. Give the junior hitter her fourth ace on the night. 34 on the year. She leads the Lady Redskins in that category. Kyle, a little trouble with that serve. And Egbert's going to find the back line. Nice swing right there. Dropped it right on the chalk. And that'll be Bryn Egbert's fourth kill of the match. She leads all Rangers, and our score now as New Knoxville gets ready to serve. Addison Albers back behind the service line. New Knoxville won St. Henry three on the first National Bank scoreboard. Hook the ball served up by Boimer. Now Whirling sets up Niekamp, and Kyle unable to do anything with that. But I'll tell you what, Mia Niekamp 
If she gets a little bit of a run at it, she can really put some energy on that volleyball. And you see it there. There's nothing that Kaup could do any, you know, with it. So St. Henry now with substitutions back to serve will be Lauren Tiemann. She's had a nice night behind the service line from a service points perspective. Great serve, knuckleball. New Knoxville struggles to do anything with it. And a ranger across that center line. Once the entire foot goes over that line, that is a foul. So 5-1 St. Henry as Lauren Tiemann serves again. See that knuckleball. Man, alive. That ball must have moved a foot to my right there left as Tiemann serves up an ace, and we're going to get a quick timeout. Brought to you by Precision Strip. We'll take it with them. Early going set three, St. Henry six. New Knoxville one here on NK Tuckle Sports. St. Henry in the driver's seat here. They are up with a two sets to none lead here, and we are in the early stages of set three, and they lead 6-1. This is Lauren Tiemann. Another knuckleball serve, dug by Kaup. Nice job there. Now back set from Addison Albers to Egbert. Off the block, St. Henry recovers. Push across, push back. And then a nice little swing right there. That's Maya Antrup. Her first kill of the set. She had four kills in the first set couple of blocks to go with those five total kills as Tiemann serves St. Henry up 7-1 on the third set and that one goes into the nylon. Back to serve now for New Knoxville wearing jersey number 10. This is Bryn Egbert, the sophomore. Excellent hitter for coach Madison Lammers. She puts a top spinner across Gales forward, and Niekamp gets set down with some authority. 12 kills on the night, leading all hitters, Mia Niekamp. And Lydia Whirling will go back to serve. That's the junior setter for St. Henry. 8-2. Your score, St. Henry, it's a six-point lead. Natalie Kopp to Libero. Now Egbert has to pass it forward, and it's right up into the net. Not much they could do with that one. I think she might have been trying to just free ball it across and get set to play defense and get into system, but didn't quite make it. Whirling with that little lob serve. Nice swing there in the middle hitting position for Kiana Wellman. But she was in the net. And so St. Henry will continue to serve 10-2 here in the third set. The Redskins with the advantage. Led by Kaup. Saved there by Addison Albers. Egbert with the swing and the kill. Bryn Egbert. Second kill of the set. And that will send Kiana Wellman, the junior outside hitter. Also does a lot of blocking up in the front. And she will go ahead and get us into play. Three, serving 10, New Knoxville. In a bit of a hole here in the third set. Looking to get a set win and keep this match going. Big swing by Niekamp. And Wellman unable to do anything with that. And that's going to send, well, she'll send herself back to serve. Me and Niekamp now. Way behind the service line, jump serve, dug there by Egbert. And here comes Olivia Lammers, unable to get that one across. So the unforced errors continue for the Reds, uh, excuse me, the Rangers. 12-3, St. Henry lead here in the middle stretch of set three. And there's an ace for Mia Nikant as she puts one of those little lob serves across. And Coach Lammers wants to talk about things. 
little precision strip timeout. We'll take it with them. 13-2, excuse me, 13-3, St. Henry leads in New Knoxville on NK Telco Sports. been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Welcome back to New Knoxville. Let's talk a little bit about conference action. Coldwater closes out 3-0 over Fort Recovery. 25, 28-26 was set free. I didn't get the scores in the first two, but Coldwater wins, and they go to 3-1 on the year in the conference. Two undefeated teams I mentioned earlier, Marion Local and the Bremen squaring off tonight. Coldwater Park Waiver Sales entered tonight's play at 2-1 and one in the conference. Fort Recovery, St. Henry, St. John's all come in at 1-2, and two, and then Minster New Knoxville still looking for that first conference win. As Niekamp serves over to Egbert, now set there, blocked and down. Look at Chloe Gells. She was up front there with Maya Antrup. 15-3 now, St. Henry really dominating here in the third set. Lee Camp with that blooper. Cowd manages to dig that one out, push across to Lammers. She sends one deep. And that's going to go in the books as a kill. Olivia Lammers, her first of the match. And New Knoxville now will get the serve. They will send Brenna Van Gundy back. And Henry 15, New Knoxville 4, dug there by Raya Busher. And then nothing, nothing doing there. Maya Antrup set up by Whirling. And Lydia Whirling, great setter, puts that ball right where Antrup needs it. Maya Antrup will have a seat. And now on the floor for St. Henry for the first time, freshman Molly Wendell, 5 foot 10 inch outside hitter. She wears jersey number four. That's dug all the way back across the net. And big swing by Chloe Gells, and that's going to go just long. And New Knoxville back to serve. Allie Top will do the honors. As St. Henry lead, leads by 11, 16 to 5. Nice knuckleball serve. Brianna Mangin gets things going. Nice big swing. Molly Wendell goes up the ladder, and the freshman registering her first point of the night as she puts one down across court for the Redskins and she'll sub out and back in will come another freshman, Morgan Beimer so nice minutes for the youngsters for Coach Rosenbeck as she exercises her bench, bench depth and that serve is going to go just long boy that had some movement on it, 17-6 now St. Henry leads as New Knoxville sends Dare Libero, junior Natalie Kaup. And she put a lobber across. Boimer doing a good job to get under that. All the way across to Gels. And she'll find the empty spot in the floor as Laney Meyer unable to get under that to get it into play. And so Gels rewards herself with an opportunity to serve as St. Henry with an 18-6 lead now over New Knoxville. Gels with four aces on the night, booked by Laney Meyer. Addison Albers passes forward. Wellman across. Whirling sets up Gells coming up from the back row. Nice dig there by Kaup. And here comes Egbert now with the swing off the net. Back across. And now St. Henry going to set up Mia Niekamp, and she will send that one one hopper off the wall. So nice rally there for the Rangers. 
as they send Addison Albers, a freshman, back to serve. Albers, their primary setter. The offense runs through her. Taken back by Boimer. Now Whirling sets knee camp off the block and down. She didn't get a clean hit at it, but it caromed off of the puck at block. And knee camp will collect her fifth kill to lead all hitters with 14, 19, 7. St. Henry with the lead as Lauren Tiemann goes back to serve. Took by Laney Meyer. Back set by Albers. Egbert up off the block and down. Maya Antrup. Her third block of the night, one in each set. As the senior, five foot ten inch middle hitter, getting it done up front there with Mia Niekamp. His team in serve is dug by Kaup. Now Albers will pass it forward. And nice swing there, dug in the back row by Boimer. Niekamp saved by Meyer. Nice job there. Now Egbert lines it up for a cross court kill and down. We're in Egbert, nice angle and down. And Melina Puckett had a nice swing in there for the Rangers as well to keep that rally in favor of New Knoxville. And they are down by 12, but trying to get something going here in this third set as St. Henry leads 20 to 8. Egbert with the serve. Now Whirling will have to pass it back forward. Gell's going to do the honors. Cout digs. Albers pushes across. Swing, and it goes, oh, Gell saves it. Now free ball to cross by Busher. Nice job there by St. Henry. Now quick set to Wellman. She pushes across, dug by Boimer. And Ecamp can't get that one to go over. It's blocked. Dug in the back by Egbert. Albers pushes across to top. And Kaup keeps it alive for the Redskins. Now quick set to Wellman block. Kaup with the save. And across by Puckett. Great rally going here. Dug in the back by Egbert. Albers across to Alley Top. And she's going to put it away for the Rangers. Nice rally. It looked like a couple of times the Redskins might score off of a block. And the back row comes forward to save the day, keep the ball in play for New Knoxville. And they cut another point off the lead, 20 to 9 on the first National League scoreboard. Back set. This is Maya Antrim. She goes up off the net. Kaup unable to do anything with it. Just kind of hit her right in the chest. She couldn't get a good uh, pass out of that. So 21 to 9. St. Henry will send Lydia Whirling, their junior setter, back to serve. Whirling knuckleball to Kaup. Nice job digging that. A lot of side to side movement there. Top. Puts one across just over the end line. Just not been able to get that ball to drop in the corner. 22-9 now, St. Henry. They won set one. They won set two. If they win this one, they win it all. And that will be their thousandth win in program history. So pretty exciting night here, potentially for the Lady Redskins. Set all the way across to knee camp off the block. Dug in the back by Egbert. Pushed across to Alley Top. Big swing off the block and down. So Allie Top with a couple of kills in the third set to go along with her two kills in the first set. And Kiana Wellman will go back to serve. 22-10, and that one's going to go long. 23-10. St. Henry inching closer. And back to serve will be senior Mia Niekamp. Again, you see that big brace on her. Right knee, she had a torn ACL last year. A lot of it was a tear, but she had an injury. And the senior will put that one down for her second ace of the match. And we are at set point match point. And a lot of St. Henry faithful here to see what they hoped would be a big night. And it looks like they're going to be rewarded as Niekamp puts that one across. And it's an ace. And that is the 1,000th win in program history for the Lady Redskins as they bury the New Knoxville Rangers tonight. Final score set three, 25-10. They won set two, 25-11, and they won set one, 25-12. So congratulations to Coach Tricia Rosenbeck and all the previous coaches and players in the St. Henry Volleyball Program. That is their 1,000th win 
in program history since 1974. So congratulations to them. We're going to take a quick break. Don't go away. When we come back, I will get you a quick rundown of the kills, aces, and blocks, and we will get you out of here. So once again, St. Henry takes this one in three straight over New Knoxville here on NK Toko Sports. Wagner's IGA has been servicing their communities for more than 95 years, spanning three generations. Wagner's founded their business on two basic principles, excellent customer service and quality products. Visit all our locations and experience the finest selection of deli, fresh meats, and variety of beverage choices. While there, don't forget to check out our vast selection of fresh coffee beans, produce, dairy, and bakery items. Visit Wagner's today in Minster, Fort Laramie, and New Bremen and check us out on Facebook. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it, and online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Welcome back to New Knoxville. And boy, what a night if you are a St. Henry Redskins fan as Lady Redskins take this match uh, very convincingly. 25-12, 25-11, 25-10. They win in three straight. They go to 2-2 two and two on the year uh, in their uh, conference record in the MAC. They even things up and they are 8-3 and three now. Overall, New Knoxville falls to 3-10. and 10 overall, excuse me, 2-10 and 10 overall, and 0-4 and in the MAC. But a major milestone reached tonight, so congratulations to the St. Henry Athletic Department, the volleyball program, Coach Tricia Rosenbeck, this particular team of girls, bringing this program to the 1,000-win mark. What a milestone in 48 years, give or take, of high school volleyball for St. Henry. Numerous state titles, and uh, boy, oh boy, very, very big moment for Coach Rosenbeck and Lady Redskins. Let's give you the cab report and then our player of the match and we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. On the New Knoxville side of the ledger, they finished the night with 11 kills, a block, and an ace. That ace coming from, see if I can find that on my sheet. There it is, Allie Top in the second set had the ace. She also had four kills. Uh, leading New Knoxville in kills, Bryn Egbert with six. And the lone block that came in the second set from Keanu Wellman. On the St. Henry side of the ledger, a total of 32 kills, five blocks, and 13 aces. They were really, really serving well and aggressively from behind the line. Um, and that was one of the keys to the game from Kilo Pizza tonight for Coach Rosenbeck. And it really paid off. Your um, individual statistics, Maya Antrip, a block in each set. So three blocks and six kills pair of aces for Lauren Tiemann. She went on several uh, long service runs. Um, Chloe Gells, four aces, four kills, and a block. An ace for Libero Raya Busher. Morgan Boimer, a pair of aces in the second set. Lydia Whirling, of course, the setter, two kills and an ace. And then our NK Telco player of the match, number six, six-foot senior outside hitter, senior, Mia Niekamp finished tonight's action with 14 kills and three aces, and we're going to award her the NK Telco Player of the Game honors for her performance tonight. So once again, St. Henry takes this MAC volleyball match in three straight over the home New Knoxville Rangers. Wish both teams best of luck the rest of the season. Got a long, long way to go before we get to tournament, so don't go anywhere. It's a great time to be alive if you like high school volleyball. And once again, special congratulations to the Lady Redskins as they have earned their 1,000th win in school program history. So once again, my name is Scott Fry. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thanks to all of our sponsors. You can catch this game again. Uh, replayed Friday, October 7th at 5 p.m., Saturday, October 8th at 8 p.m., and you can always watch our games on demand through YouTube, Facebook, and at nktelco.com forward slash sports. So one last time from the barn in New Knoxville, St. Henry straight sets over the Rangers 3-0 here on NK Telco Sports.